the African Union must, as a matter of principle, grant the right to self-determination to all ethnic groups and all prospective groups in Africa. The African Union should declare and open up a mandatory continental referendum for all ethnic groups and all prospective groups who wish to have states of their own as opposed to the colonially created conflict causing countries in our continent which were not created by us but created by those who came to colonize us. This right to self-determination would be in line to the Nations Resolution 1514 which the UN General Assembly carried out 14th of December 1960 granting rights to independence to colonies across the world. Also, this continental referendum mandating right to self-determination to all ethnic groups in Africa would also be in line with Article 1 of the UN International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and Article 1 of the UN International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights which the UN passed 16th of December 1966 and also in line with Article 3 of the UN Rights to Indigenous People which was passed on the 13th of September 2007. This article states that ethnic groups or groups across the world have the right to self-determination and this self-determination means that they have the right to have their own economic, social and political structure. Therefore, groups in Africa have the right to self-determination. The Igbos have the right to Biafra. The Rifians have the right to the Rif Republic. The Ambazonians have the right to Ambazonia, just like in Europe. The Albanians have Albania. The Germans have Germany. The Finns have Finland. Why should we come to Africa and we have countries in Africa which Europeans created for us at the Berlin Conference? Why should the will of Europeans in Europe supersede that of Africans in Africa? In an African affair, the countries we have in Africa, the Europeans created them. Africans have the right to self-determination. Decolonization is a task that the African Union must take seriously and must push to a complete logical conclusion. And without the decolonization of the boundaries of Africa, Africa is not yet free. Without the decolonization of Africa, there can be peace in Africa. Without the decolonization of the boundaries of Africa, peace in Africa will still be elusive. And the dream of the African Union of silencing the guns in Africa would continue to be a mirage. Because the countries that we have in Africa, most of us in Africa, we do not accept them. I personally, I do not accept the countries that Europeans created for us because they did not create these countries for the good of Africans. They created them for their own good during the Berlin Conference of 1884 and 1885. And they militarily used force to achieve these countries. So why should we accept these countries as African countries? Whereas the ethnic groups in Africa do not accept these countries. And Europeans who created the countries are mandating that we must continue to accept the countries that they created for us. Therefore, Africa is not yet independent. The African Union, therefore, should pass a resolution or pass a protocol mandating referendum to any ethnic group that wishes to have an ethnic state of his or her own. The Igbos, the Yorubans, the Zulus, Houses, all the ethnic groups in Africa should have states of their own according to their will. And then, to all Africans who wish to have the United Continent of Africa through a referendum or through the African Parliament, we shall also have the United States and the United Continent of Africa out of the wills of we, the people of Africa. And that cannot be done for us by any other people apart from Africans. That is the pathway to peace, decolonization, and progress in Africa. African Union. This is a mandatory task that we must accomplish. God bless Africa. God bless all the ethnic groups in Africa. Peace to Africa.